Hello everybody, we're back with another DC vs Marvel fan art and it's your favorite. I know everybody likes searching up these videos. Yeah, so if you want to see more content like this, make sure you like the video and you know re make requests, post comments down below. All right, yeah, I mean, I like them too, so yeah, more giant feet. All right. <laughs> That's what's getting the views. I'm chasing those viral views. Yeah. I don't know what's the point. <laughs> I just want people to look at my art. If this is the this is the way to get it, I guess this will have to do. I mean it's not it's not like it's it's bad. I like I like drawing this anyway. And I am drawing battles, so yeah. <laughs> drawing women and battles. And I'm learning some anatomy with the muscles and yeah. Maybe the anatomy is incorrect. Super huge muscles and uh, super curved feet <laughs> and muscles and curved everywhere. Yeah. So this is DC Giganta versus Marvel Scarlet Witch. Giganta, you already saw her in the pre I mean, I've already drew both of these characters in previous videos. Well, Giganta only won. It was her foot versus She Hulk. And Scarlet Witch, I've drawn before a couple of times. The, yeah, the first few times were the, like Rick and Morty style, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Giganta. Uh, yeah, the reference image is actually from one of the cartoons. I, I'm not sure which one, but it's Giganta versus Superman. Yeah, she's about to stomp on Superman. He's flying there in the sky. And I decided, you know what? Let me, instead of uh, drawing Superman, let me draw a superhero from Marvel that also has a cape and flying. Well, actually, that flies. Scarlet Witch can fly, but she doesn't actually have a cape in the movies. But she does, she will have the cape as a costume, a Halloween costume in the upcoming WandaVision. So that's that's good you know if it's not like the best co comic accurate costume it will do right people are psyched about it I'm pretty sure yeah so uh, I did you know of course you know I have to uh, draw in my style and you know the I did make the character uh, well Scarlet Witch is mostly normal like shape I guess body proportion wise but Giganta, of course, I have my exaggerated curves, especially on the feet and her body. Yeah. So I gave her that, you know, dummy thick body type build. Yeah. Def yeah, if you look up the picture of Giganta versus Superman from the screenshot, yeah, she's not nearly as thick. She's uh, more slim, at least around the waist. And she's not as muscular, I think. I mean, yeah, she's pretty muscular, but I made her even more muscular. Probably her chest, I didn't really, I didn't really increase size that much, or at all. I mostly just increased the size of the arms and then the legs, mostly on the thighs, the legs, and of course the the foot. I exaggerated the curves, the curvature. Yeah. And Scarlet Witch, I decided not to give her bulging muscles, <laughs> mostly because she's too, she's, uh, her costume, it, like it stops right around like the shoulder muscle, so it's a little bit awkward to include a shoulder muscle and the sleeves, yeah. I decided to draw in some lines with a cape to give it some slight detail. Yeah, I have trouble with that cowl face mask or whatever I spent so a long time on it, so much time on it and pretty much finished the line art and just you know figure out the color and then all the shading and stuff yeah so it turns out Scarlet Witch has green eyes I erroneously gave her brown eyes in pretty much every fan art I drew of her ever <laughs> but yeah I mean, you can't see her eyes in this one, but yeah, 
Giganta also has green eyes. Not that it really matters. Because, you know, like, I'm pretty sure they didn't give Ashley Olsen green contacts, did, she, did they? I don't know. I mean, characters can change because she's like Sokovia and she's East. Well, actually, I think she is supposed to be Eastern European in the comics. Yeah, so that's actually, that's fine. But she's not Sokovia. I don't think there's a like Sokovia in the Marvel comics. And she's supposed to be Magneto's daughter anyway. That's That didn't happen in the X-Men. I mean, I mean it, uh, the MCU. So yeah, I was trying to figure out the, you know, the skin tone. Because I f figured, you know, it should be have that pinkish hue, but also should be some dark spots, you know, because she's, she's walking around the streets and stuff. So I wasn't sure if I should just make it all dark or just part of it. So I end up deciding with part of it. That way you can see the pinkish hue and the dirty spots from, you know, all the street grime and dirt and mud or whatever. And there is a background building in the picture, so I decided to follow the rough, general rough design. Yeah. I was going to go with like a red brick back uh, rooftop, but then I decided against it because the rest of the building is, you know, like gray and it's like a dark colors. I guess red would have been fine, actually, but yeah, dark. I ended up going with the dark gray. And of course, spruce up the background since it's supposed to be the sky, add in some clouds and the sun. And the actual reference image is actually dark, in the, but I decided to make it daylight, daytime. Yeah, and I forgot to add in the window panes until the very end. And of course, I added. I had some more modification, added some extra muscle definition, or well, at least I tried, you know. Add in the abs, add in like the quadricep muscle area, calf. And then I was like trying to fix the, the coloring of her sleeve. And add in those magical circles of Scarlet Witch, even though you can barely see it once you zoom out. But yeah, like I said, if you want to see more fan art like this, smash like and post comments. I know you're watching. <laughs> These kind of videos are getting a lot of views, so please, post comments, smash like. Oh, some character, some people are smashing like, so thank you so much. All right, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.